What's up guys? Today I am going to be washing my Yamaha FC6 and clean and lube the chain to prepare it for the upcoming spring season. Also, I wanted to share with you, I just got this brand new Bridgestone Battle Axis Hypersport 22 tire, which is a medium triple compound tire, meaning that the compound surface in the middle of the tire is harder than the outer edges of the tire to improve durability. Previous to that, I had the Dunlop Sport Max Tire Q2, which was a double compound but softer tire, better for cornering and high performance, while still having a harder tread compound in the center of the tire to improve durability. Uh, it was an awesome tire. Uh, the one on the front here is still in decent shape, but I just replaced the rear tire with this brand new Bridgestone. So I am going to be doing a review on that as well. Let's go. guys this is my 2008 uh, Yamaha FZ6 for those of you who do not know what that is it is a Yamaha uh, based off the R6 motor um, it is tuned for more low and mid-range torque so it's made for more for riding the street it has a little bit more upright riding position and uh, it's definitely more comfortable to ride and it uh, also has a few components on it that are a little bit older that um, allowed them to keep the cost out on this bike so it was a nice entry point when this bike came out i was able to pick up this bike in 2010 for 3600 dollars it only had 2100 miles on it um, it was a great deal at that time uh, the guy had bought it for his wife to ride and uh and do track days with but it was just a little bit too much for her so it got a great deal on it um, he put a couple upgrades on it like this little 12 volt uh cigarette lighter plug-in adapter um i also added uh heated uh handle grips and the uh, plug there for the battery tender as i don't ride that bike very often originally when i bought this bike i bought it to ride in the twisties and around town uh nowadays i just do more around town riding than in the mountains so that's why i decided to go with this bridgestone Battle Axis Hypersport S22R tire. Uh, like I said, this tire um, is a medium compound, but it's, it has a triple compound, and the center here is harder than the uh, Dunlops I had on it previously, which lasted about 4,000 miles or so. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more mileage out of this tire and still be uh, comfortable enough and sporty enough for my riding style. So guys, in order to clean this chain, I put the bike on the center stand to get the rear tire up off the ground. Um, if you don't have a center stand, you could use a jack or a jack stand, or I've seen some people even put it on a kickstand and have a friend hold it over on its side. I do not recommend that. I am getting ready to clean this chain with this Honda chain cleaner. Uh, make sure you get the right chain cleaner. This says safe for all chain types. Um, so you want to make sure that uh, you got a cleaner it's uh compatible with your chain next i'm going to start the bike and put the bike in gear so that the uh, chain will rotate while i spray the cleaner on it and then i'll take my brush and just hold it on here like this and continue to spray cleaner on it.
that I got the chain nice and clean, I am going to apply the Bellray Super Clean Chain Lube for O, X, and Z ring safe. This is supposed to not fling off or attract any dirt. guys uh that was awesome i just rode up here to caesar's head um state park in south carolina uh the roads were uh not too great um last couple times i've been up here i noticed that uh they're getting uh a lot of potholes a lot of rough patches um so i had to definitely take it slower this time um and be careful uh coming out of the winter season obviously the roads tend to get a little worse Anyway, uh, overall, the tire uh, did great. Uh, it was very smooth um, and had plenty of grip for the uh, my capability level of riding. So I definitely highly recommend it. Uh, looks like it's in good shape overall, not too much wear. Um, so we're gonna take it on up to the next little town after I stop here to grab a couple pictures and I will do a further update. One of the reasons I love coming to the mountains is because you never know what you're gonna see. So check this out right here. This Porsche GTS some lunch uh, now we're getting ready to get back on the road and ride a couple more hours back to the house and I'll finish up the review there What an amazing day it's been. So for the Bridgestone Battle Axis Hypersport 22, um, this is what I feel, this is what I think about the tire overall. Um, number one, it's an extremely smooth tire. Uh, number two, um, it still has plenty of grip for the average uh, rider or someone who rides uh, pretty spiritedly. Um, you know, it might not be ideal for someone that wants to take their bike to their track and really push the limits of it. Um, but as far as everyday uh, cruising and some spirited street riding, I think it's a great tire overall. I think I'm gonna be really pleased with it. 
Um, I was able to push it pretty good um, in some of the turns today. Obviously, being on the road, you can't really ring out a sports bike um, without the risk of hurting yourself or somebody else. So, um, obviously, not trying to do that. But uh, I was able to get it uh, leaned over pretty well on the turns. Um, I'll just show you here on the tire, as you can see. Um, I was able to go right up to about three-eighths of an inch away from the edge of the tire there. So uh, definitely was pushing it pretty good and it held just fine. So anyway, you guys know what to do. Hit that like, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more and be sure to stay tuned.